this shoe has not come out yet but across the water gave us the shoe early and it's a really dope one we have a black box with gold nike branding this one the box i'm talking about the box right now looks amazing and yes the ua market replicate this box identical to the real one pretty dope looking box but let's see let's see what we have inside and as most of you already know inside of this box we have the Jordan one palomino this one is an amazing shoe for real really really amazing shoe that i'm deeply deeply in love with this shoe and of course on release date i'm going to be looking for this shoe but as right now i'm pretty happy with this one because this one looks amazing for real amazing amazing for real i love these a lot a lot of people compare the issue with the mocha jordan one also they compare them with the travis scott jordan one and let me see something the mocha is not even the same but they compare them because every time they see a pair of um brown shoes brown jordan ones they compare them with the travis i don't really care about the travis i think this is an amazing pair of shoes that shines by itself because of how beautiful, beautiful the shoe is. So it's time to review this amazing shoe that came from across the water. By the way, information is in the video description in case you wanna get these shoes early. We have on these a brown type of nubuck or something. This is not suede. On the retail, it's not suede, okay? It's like a Nuvak or something, but looks good, feels good. I like the quality here. You can see it is really, really good. Also on the toe, we have that brown color. This one has that, um, the Jordan 1 bread color blocking. Super dope. If you ask me, this is a grown man shoe. If you're not a kid and you're looking for a grown man shoe, this is the one for you. And the young guys can wear these shoes as well. Super dope. We have a chocolate looking color on the outsole that looks amazing as well. I love these a lot. Every detail about these, I love it. A lot of people don't like the gold tag right here. Um, this gold Nike branding and the tone tag. To me, I don't mind it. I don't really care. And this color here is what gave these shoe the name of the Palomino Jordan 1 that in my, in my opinion, like I already said, this is not something that bothers me at all. It gives the shoe a little bit of, um, you know, make the shoe pop a little bit. So it's good. It's good. Looking cool. And it also goes perfectly with that beautiful black and gold box. Then we have the black Wings logo right there. The sail Mitsu looking good. And when we go inside, we have a black suck liner. Black laces with those babies. We have a black insole with the gold Nike branding on the shoe. More gold right here on the back of the tongue and the lettering right there. Dope shoe. This is a dope shoe that I don't recommend you to slip on. Look at the other side. It's looking also really, really amazing. This will be, for me, the Jordan 1 of the year. Whenever this shoe releases this year, this will be the vast Jordan of these year this look good looks amazing really dope color block in a classic one common straight from the bread jordan one this is my shoe of the year with a really dope matching box as you can see right there it's looking good this right here in my humble 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 opinion is my jordan one of the year but let me know about shoe is this on your radar this is mine, of course it is. Guys, like I already said, this is a UA version. And if you want to know whether to get these, the information is in the video description. So make sure to go and check that out. And if you want me to give you the information personally, feel free to hit me here on my Instagram, Jason J Kicks. Make sure to follow me and DM me, and I'm going to be happy to help you with anything you need. Jason J Kicks on my Instagram. Thank you a lot for watching, guys. Until the next one, goodbye.